Hi everyone, so we continue with our problem solving of Sadiku. So now we arrive at problem 3.18 and this is the circuits and we are asked to find all the node voltage. So there is three nodes, node 1, node 2 and node 3. And we will find out how here and let's start. Let's start by assuming where the current goes so I will start here the most obvious one so I will assume that this current will go up and then the rest is arbitrary so I will assume this one is going there and I will assume this one is going there and I will assume this one going here and that one is going there and by assuming this going here so this one will be going here and I will assume this one is going down and this is our ground here and we will start one by one so I will start at not one KCL at not one now we will have the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out there is one current that goes in this guy and two current that goes out here and there so the current that goes in is v2 minus v1 divided by 2 so it is this current and that will equal to this current here that going down v1 divided by 4 and then we will have this current here this current uh, we don't know so I will assume that will be I from not 1 to not 3 I I 3 I 1 3 and then we will simplify this letter by looking at this node by looking at this node so we will save this first this is equation number one and now we start at KCL at node 3 and in the node 3 we have the current that goes in is here this guy and here this guy so I will have this guy I that goes from node 1 to 3 plus this guy here V2 minus V3 divided by 2 and that guy is equal to V3 over 8 and now we can we can simplify this not simplify we can manipulate this one into V3 over 8 oh, it's not enough space here so I will move that I13 is equal to V3 over 8 minus V2 minus V3 over 2 and let this equal as equation number 2 and we will substitute this number two equations into first equations so we will have v2 minus v1 over 2 is equal to v1 over 4 plus i3 i3 we can replace i3 with this guy here v3 over 8 minus v2 
minus v3 over 2 we can multiply both sides by 8 so we have 4 v2 minus 4 v1 is equal to 2 v1 plus v3 minus 4 v2 and this guy here is minus minus so it's become plus plus 4 v3 and we can simplify this one so I move this one to the right hand side okay what do we get here 2v1 plus 4v1 it's 6v1 and then 4v2 we will have minus 4v2 minus 4v2 so it will have minus 8v2 and then for v3 we will have this guy and this guy 1 plus 4 is 5 5 v3 and this one is equal to 0 okay now we have this one so we need to simplify this one and I see a v3 here so if we take a look at v3 v3 uh, there is a voltage source from v1 to v3 that means the difference between v1 and v3 is 30 volt but this one the sign is plus here so v3 must be higher so v3 let's save this equation first equation number three v3 1 is equal to 30 volt so v3 minus v1 is equal to 30 and we will have v3 is equal to v1 plus 30 now save this as equation number 4 and we can substitute this one into equation number 3 and let's do that 0 is equal to 6 v1 minus 8 v2 plus 5 v1 plus 30 and we will have 0 is equal to 6 v1 minus 8 v2 plus 5 v1 plus 150 and then let erase this we can simplify this one 0 is equal to 11 v1 minus 8 v2 plus 150 and this will result in minus 11 v1 plus 8 v2 is equal to 150 let's save this equation as equation number 5 oh so many equations and we still need one more equations because this is v1 and this is v2 so one note that we have not touched yet is this note note number two so that works at that note so kcl at note two so the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out the current that goes in is only from the this current source it is 15 and then we have two current that goes out 
this guy and that one so I will start here v2 minus v1 over 2 plus v2 minus v1 divided by 2 and we can multiply both sides by 2 so we have 30 is equal to uh, v2 minus v1 uh, this one is not v1 but v3 plus v2 minus v3 and we run out of space again okay let erase this to get some space over there so we can get 30 is equal to minus v1 plus 2v2 and then minus v3 now if you remember that v3 is v1 plus 30 so we have 30 is minus v1 plus 2v2 minus v1 plus 30 and so 30 is equal to minus v1 plus 2v2 minus v1 minus 30 and we will have 30 is this is v1 minus v1 minus 2v1 plus 2v2 and this 30 and finally we will have minus 2v1 plus 2v2 is equal to 60 and then we will have let's divide both sides by 2 minus v1 plus v2 is equal to 30 and let's save this equation as equation number 6 so we will only need this equation number 5 and number 8 and also this number 4 is also needed so let me erase all the equation in the whiteboard except for what we need And so we will have this three equation here and let me move it here so we can do some algebraic manipulation easily plus v2 is equal to 30 so this is equation number five and this is equation number six and i will erase this Okay, let's do, let's remove this V1, and by doing that, I left the first one by multiplying by 1, and then this one is multiplied by 11. Okay, let me erase the water as well. And this one is just the same. And then 
this one is minus 11 v1 plus 11 v2 and this will equal to 330 so what will we do here we subtract this one so 11 minus minus 11 they will cancel each other so we only need to care about this two and this one is minus 3 v2 and this one is minus what is that 180 so we get v2 from here v2 is equal to minus 80 minus 180 divided by minus 3 and that one is 60 volt so we get v2 v2 here 60 volt and we can easily substitute here substitute this value here so minus v1 plus v2 is equal to 30 and so minus v1 plus 60 is equal to 30 and then minus v1 is 30 minus 60 is minus 30 and so we have v1 is 30 volt and we have v3 here v3 is v1 plus 30 and so it is 30 plus 30 it is 60 volt so in conclusion we have this value v1 is 30 volt v1 is 30 volt and then v2 is also not also v2 is 60 volt and then v3 is also 64 so this is our final answer okay that's all let me know if you find any mistakes and thanks for watching